couples wishing to avoid or achieve pregnancy in a simple, natural, effective, cost-free way use the Billings Ovulation Method or BOM. Delegates from around the world met recently in Oklahoma to share teaching experiences and be updated in another emerging use of the method, how an accurately recorded Billings chart is becoming a useful diagnostic tool for doctors in the treatment of disease and fertility disorders. The chart is a hormone bioassay that takes a few seconds a day to complete at home, providing a movie of hormonal patterns over time. It's quicker, easier, cheaper and more informative and less invasive than lab tests. The Oderblad has studied the cervix for over 50 years. His research shows that the cervix is as complicated as the human eye. He's still finding new types of cervical secretion and their functions in response to hormones. Professor James Brown is world-renowned for his ovarian and pituitary studies. He based his research on 850,000 hormonal assays. The Billings literature has been copyrighted and translated into over 22 languages and contains information about their work. The slide rule is a visual tool demonstrating the normal regular fertile cycle of under 35 days with ovulation occurring as early as day 5 and as late as day 24. Here is a typical fertile cycle showing the hormonal pattern of, of fertility based on the stamp or symbol that the woman has recorded on her chart, shown underneath. It enables the precise time of ovulation to be seen. The slide rule also reveals the many basic infertile days women experience in long cycles over 35 days. These are characterized by a sensation of dryness or slight discharge, unchanging day after day. In this case, the typical fertile pattern follows with ovulation after peak, followed by menstruation 11 to 16 days later. Patches of mucus and withdrawal bleeds showing hormonal attempts at ovulation are occurring on this chart. Estrogen and progesterone levels fluctuate over several weeks as ovulation is delayed. In this case, the couple are trying to conceive and finally succeed by using the time close to ovulation called peak. Easily recognized when the typical build-up developing pattern of the fertile phase finally returns. Conception and fertilization of the ovum is followed by an implantation bleed about a week later. Professor Brown discovered many variants of the average 28-day fertile cycle, which normally occur at one time or another throughout a woman's reproductive life. These are explained in his study entitled The Continuum. Charting can reveal an abnormal pattern, which teachers can recognize as departing from the normal variants and that therefore require medical investigation. Obstetrician and gynecologist Mary Martin of Oklahoma City, seen here, is continuing Professor Brown's work in collaboration with Pila Vigil of Chile, also an obstetrician and gynecologist who specializes in endocrinology and infertility. She's able to diagnose such disorders as insulin resistance, hyperprolactinemia, polycystic ovarian disease, cancer and other conditions from examining just a few weeks of charting by her patients. She calls the Billings chart a barometer of ovarian disorder and easier than lab tests to detect patterns of fertility and infertility of women who all ovulate at different levels of hormones. She finds surgery to correct the follicular phase of a cycle often brings about a return of fertility. She has opened the first North American Billings Center for Fertility and Reproductive Health train university medical students and residents in the use of the Billings method in clinical practice. Dr. Jan Hemstad, seen here with his nurse wife Darcy, is on the board of Bomber USA and is collating all Professor Brown's published studies. Dr. Leklim Chan 
Seen here with Australian senior teacher trainers Murray and Marion of Australia is a doctor in Malaysia who teaches the Billings method to all his patients. He carries a pocket-sized slide rule in his wallet for this purpose. In 1986, Mary Pat von Epp from Memphis, seen here in pink, started a mother-daughter program. Because she said she had all this wonderful information to, she wanted to share with mothers to help them talk to their daughters about growing up and about the changes in their body and what was going to happen. She didn't know what to expect in that first year and said she would have been happy with 20. Well, 200 people showed up. If you want to learn about the Billings ovulation method, there is nothing more simple to learn. A woman's cycle is just a perfectly organized design by our creator. You look at a typical cycle, I can teach this to you in about one minute. Woman has a menstrual period because she ovulated and released an egg in the previous cycle. After her period, there's usually a time of infertility. We call this the basic infertile pattern. And a basic infertile pattern is always an unchanging pattern. She will learn to pay attention to her signs of fertility and she'll notice that each day it's the same, the same, the same. At some point, there'll be a change. Something different will happen. Then, over the next few days, she will have a changing, developing cervical mucus pattern. This is the mucus that her cervix produces when the egg is actually maturing in her ovary. It is during this time that this mucus is there to keep sperm cells alive. So any intercourse or genital contact anywhere here can cause pregnancy here when the egg is released from the ovary. The egg will be released from the ovary very close to peak day. Now peak is the last day the woman has this very slippery sensation that she knows she has when she's walking around. It goes completely away the next day. The egg will release from the ovary within 48 hours of that day. From peak day until her next period, it's going to always be stable, 11 to 16 days in a healthy, fertile cycle. What can change is this part right here, the pre-ovulatory phase. This is unpredictable. Everything depends on this egg and this cycle and how long it takes for follicle-stimulating hormone to get high enough in her bloodstream to cause ovulation to happen. So she will learn that she can recognize the the time of infertility pre-ovulatory, the changing developing mucus pattern, and the, in, the, the peak of her symptoms so she'll know that she's very close to ovulation. This is the only time in her cycle that conception could occur, and she can learn this very, very easily. Very simply, there are four rules for the Billings ovulation method. Obstetrician and gynecologist Hannah Klaus, seen here on the right, uses the BOM to teach teenagers fertility awareness and how their cycles work. Visit teenstarprogram.org to learn more. She's talking to Rose Heron, senior teacher trainer for Canada. So threshold is when there's a change in sensation and then we get to the middle of the room through the intermediate part of the room. Where are you from? I'm from Fort Worth, Texas and I'm Mark. This is my wife Christina. And this is our fourth little child, Therese Marie. And you use the Billings method to achieve pregnancy? Yes, we have. Even through difficulties and medical setbacks, we've been able to achieve pregnancies and practice the Billings method for the past five years and taught a couple hundred couples. Hi, I'm Robin Contreras. I teach in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Uh, we've only been teaching for a year now, so we're babies at this whole experience easily explain the Billings Method. It clearly depicts the four different phases of each woman's menstrual cycle. Maria Garcia, seen here, conducted a Spanish teacher training course concurrently with the English one. Clinical studies by Drs. John and Evelyn Billings, together with the collaborative research of Professors Odeblad and Brown, have shown that there can be no compromise where the four common sense guidelines of the bomb are concerned. When applied, they provide a better than 99% effective way of avoiding pregnancy during all the stages of a woman's reproductive life, however irregular her cycles might be. They also assist couples to achieve pregnancy, especially when they have been experiencing difficulties.
The number of couples learning the BOM in order to conceive has been increasing over the last few years, and a recent study of 358 couples in Australia who attended billing centres for help with achieving pregnancy showed that 78% of them succeeded. Seven of the 20 couples who had unsuccessfully used IVF and other reproductive technology achieved a pregnancy. More than half of the women who participated in the study had previously been declared subfertile, unable to conceive for more than 12 months. For the women in the study over 38 years of age, the success rate was 66%. To find an accredited teacher in your area and to learn more, go to www.womb.org, the official website.